This Liverpool FC tactic will 100% change the way you play in FIFA 22. Let's go. So for this tactic, we have gone with the 4-3-3 false nine. The lineup goes as follows. We have Alisson in goal, Trent Alexander-Arnold at right back, Joel Matip at centre back. We have Virgil van Dijk at left centre back, Andy Robertson at left back. We've got Fabinho in CDM. Our two central midfielders are going to be Jordan Henderson and Thiago. And our front three will be Mo Salah on the right, Dadio Mane on the left and Diogo Jota as our centre forward. An important thing to note guys, what I want you guys to do is I want you to move Salah from the right wing all the way to right forward. And the same thing with Sadio Mane as well, move him out from the left wing all the way to left forward. Now let's move on to the tactics. With your defensive style, you are going to go with press after possession loss. The way Liverpool play is, as soon as they lose that ball, they like to try and recover that ball as quickly as possible, especially with their attackers. Moving over to the width, you are going to go with something quite neutral. We are going to go with 55. With your depth, you are going to go at 68. So you are allowing yourself to still have a high line. However, you are not going to concede those annoying through balls that occasionally happen in FIFA. Moving on into the build-up play, you are going to go with fast build-up. It is important. As soon as you guys win that ball back, I want you to attack the opposition goal as quickly as you can. In regards to your chance creation, you are going to go with possession. That's because there are times where sometimes you're not going to be able to attack as quickly. However, you still want to get forward and you want to have options. So the possession chance creation works very well in this instance. Going into your team's width, you are going to go with 65. At the end of the day, you do have quite a narrow formation, so you don't need to go too wide. However, we don't need to be too narrow either. 65 gives us the perfect width. And then lastly, with your players in the box, you are going to go with six. With corners, you're going to go on three. And with free kicks, you are also going to go on three as well. We are now going to move over to the instructions. Just before we move on, if you are enjoying this content, don't forget to drop a like. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Go on, as you were. So starting with Alisson, you are going to have him on. Comes for crosses and you are going to have him in that sweeper keeper role. Moving on to Trent Alexander, he is going to be joining the attack. He is on normal interceptions, he is going to be overlapping and he is going to stick to his position. Moving on into Joel Matip, he is going to step up in terms of his defensive position and you are going to leave him as that. With his centre-back partner, Virgil van Dijk, he is also going to be staying back while attacking, normal interceptions but he is going to stick to his position. It's important that you guys put that in there. Last man of the back four, Andy Robertson, he is also going to join the attack normal interceptions, his run tap is going to be overlapped and he's going to stick to his position. Then moving into the midfield three, starting with Fabinho, we are going to have Fabinho on cut passing lanes for his defensive behaviour. He is going to drop between the defenders, his interceptions are going to be normal, he is going to cover the wing and lastly he is going to stick to his position. Moving into Jordan Henderson, we are going to have Henderson on balanced attack, so he has a little bit more of a box-to-box -box role. He is going to stay on the edge of the box for crosses. His interceptions are going to be normal. He is going to cover centre and he is going to stick to his position. Up next, we have Thiago. He is going to be getting forward on attacking support. He is going to get into the box for cross. His interceptions are going to be aggressive. He is going to cover the wing, not the centre and he is going to free roam. Up next, we're gonna move on to our forwards and we're gonna start with Mane and Salah. So with Mane, who remember is a forward, not a winger, on his support runs, he is going to have balanced width. He is going to get in behind for his attacking runs. We have got him on aggressive interceptions. So as soon as Sadio Mane loses that ball, he is going to be in charge of trying to close down spaces and winning that ball back as quickly as possible. Aggressive interceptions helps him do that. And with his defensive support, he is going to be on basic. Moving on to Mo Salah, Salah's support runs are going to be balanced as well. His attacking runs are going to be mixed. His interceptions are going to be aggressive. And his defensive support is also going to be basic. And last but not least, we have Diogo Jota. We're going to have Jota's support runs on stay central. His attacking runs are going to be mixed. His interceptions are also going to be aggressive. And lastly, his defensive support will also be basic. 
and that people is how you are going to dominate every single game you play with Liverpool FC. I've also done a video on Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. If you want to see that video, click right here.